Hello everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Uncut Thursdays Part 2 here on Thornton Farm. Um, if you missed the first part, uh, basically it was quite a boring episode so I've decided to apologise to you guys. I've decided to upload another one on the same day so hope you guys enjoy that. Um, I have gone ahead and tidied up this end of the field off camera because we've missed bits because we had a glitch. Not glitch, but we had... I think this header trailer set up wrong basically. In the uh, shop it says it's 12 metres, in fact it's called... A class 12 75 con speed and the 12 means how long it is i think <clears throat> turns out the header itself is only nine meters so i'm not sure why that is but oh well at least we found the issue let's go ahead and turn the combine on to begin with we do have head tracking as well guys so anyway welcome back as i just said um yes the first part was a bit boring we just literally harvest and it went so much things went wrong during it as well that I went, you know what, we're going to do another one. We're going to try it again, but still upload the bad one, if that makes sense. So yes, we have two parts today. This is not a regular thing, guys. Do Please do not get used to this. I am not uploading two videos a day. <laughs> that would be a pain in my tushy. So, yeah, not going to happen. But we will do this. Uh, why do we need one more now? We can do at least four. Uh, probably not downhill, actually. We're going to set it to three whilst we go downhill. Um, if you did miss the last episode as well, um, I did say, well, not last episode, but part one of this, I did say that people have been asking for more external stuff, so let me know in the comment section below uh, whether you like the uncut stuff or... Not the uncut, one more it's kind of like Whether you like the inside cab or the outside of the cab or a bit of both. I think most people are going to vote for a bit of both, if I'm honest, because... As a bit of variety to the videos. I just forgot to set the time. I wasn't being rude then. I wasn't texting someone whilst recording. Um, I always forget to look at the clock up in the top left, uh, the top right, sorry. So I've gone ahead and set my timer. By the time we should finish this, it should be half, no, 20 to one. Jeez, it's gonna be a late night for me. Still got to render and upload one of them yet. So it's gonna be a long night for Simulate. At least I'm not gonna edit and render this one. I'll do this one tomorrow. But yes, what we're doing today, in case you missed it, is we are harvesting field number four on Thornton Farm, which is sunflowers, which is what the viewers slash subscribers voted that we plant here. I was going to put oats down, but everyone chose sunflowers, so that's absolutely fine. Right, so we're at the end. Let's go ahead and lift up the header real quick. I like how it lifts up on one side first. I don't know if that's just a bad mod or that's what it does in real life. No idea. Let's go into our next one here. And we have got the Massey Ferguson, not 698, jeez, that wouldn't even be able to pull it. We've got the Massey Ferguson 7718 pulling the, uh, the grain cart over there. There we go. Still haven't looked to see what 100% is, I keep forgetting. That little screen down there is our fuel level, the 76 now, 7,600, 7, sorry. And, uh, I don't actually know what 100% is. I think it's 10,000, hopefully. Um, I think we've got the pipe in. It is. So, welcome back. Hopefully, this one goes a little bit better. Now we've managed to fix the GPS. Uh, this header is rented, in case you didn't know. It's not ours. We're not going to be doing that much sunflowers and corn enough so we can justify buying one. So, we did just rent it instead. Ooh. Good news for you guys as well. Lawn care part three so longer episode three sorry is planned and ready to be recorded so i'm not really sure that's going to be uploading but a lot of you guys have been asking for it so i'm going to deliver long care part three to you guys i think we're pretty much ready we've got head tracking on i don't know if i've already said that in part two it's gonna be really confusing because i've literally just finished part one let's go ahead and uh turn this off put the pipe out there's no mirrors, I can't see. There we go. Back into the Massey, we'll turn this on. Don't really need our four-wheel drive and stuff for this. And my joystick's not working, again. That's the wrong gear simulator. I do that way too often. <laughs> Lothian's gonna make a beam about that, probably. How I always manage to go backwards. Right, so let's go ahead and unload this. We've already got 9%. That's from the little messy bits we missed over there. Let's go ahead and do that. Unload this one. There we go. Got it first time this time. 
So I'm going to try and try. I'm going to try. I can't even speak. It's that late. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and use more third person as it's been requested so much as of late. Um, I personally enjoy the in-cab stuff, but apparently it gets boring. So ask and you shall receive. Don't forget to let me know any other suggestions, guys, in the comment section below. I'm here to entertain you guys, so whatever you want to see, I will do. Why are we waiting in the mass here? We don't need to. Let's jump in to the combine. Put the pipe back in and go ahead and boot her up again. Put her up and we won't lower the header just yet because it may snap off, which we don't want to happen because that would be expensive seeing as it's not ours. Okay, there we go. And we'll lower it back down. Look how wobbly that is. I got a feeling this is not meant to happen like that. But oh well. This is the header that came with the combine. This is the header we're going to use. I think it came with this one anyway. Don't quote me on that. It's got the right fill type, so I'm assuming so. That particle effect. I can't tell if it's that giving me bad FPS or not. Every so often I just drop down to about 20 FPS. And none of my experiments have worked, so I'm not sure what it is. But I do remember, I said this in part one, just to repeat myself for people that haven't seen part one. I think that's the particle effect from the TF-78. The New Holland TF-78 which I remember people saying caused bad FPS, which is why version 2 of the TF-78 doesn't have it. Okay, I think we're coming up towards the end here. Yes. How much lanes do you reckon we got left? Uh, one, two, three, I reckon about five, six maximum. Yeah, so I think it was six maximum. Unfortunately, it's uncut, so I can't skip to the end and do something else. Um, I'm still debating whether to keep Uncut Thursdays or not. I know Banky Gaming, for example, likes it. Uh, Dave likes it as well. It's just, it doesn't feel like me, if I'm honest. I know most people do actually like Uncut Thursdays. Because it... Oh, right at the end. They say it runs a bit smoother, which I completely understand. It's just, I like getting more than one task done per video. So, for example, we would have had this field done in the whole of part one if it was a normal video. Okay, let's put the drive control on. Drive control. Technically, I'm not wrong. Let's put the cruise control on, though. Actually, what we can do is switch the drive control type. Let me just stop it quick. I forgot how to do this. There we go. So I think it's that one. And then the maximum speed we can go is 4 miles an hour. So if I accelerate, yes. So that's a speed restrictor, guys. If you don't know what I'm looking at, in the bottom right corner, just under the sunflower thing, it's got a little green speedometer. Uh, that's basically the uh, speed limiter. You can change that by pushing Shift 2, I believe it is. There's loads of different modes on there, but that's the one we're using today. If it's none there, it means you've got normal cruise control. The green clock means speed limiter. There's another one where it's like two green lines like that. I don't know if you can see that on the wheel cam. That means you will match the speed of the combine. So if the combine speeds up, you will speed up. If the combine slows down, you will slow down. That comes in handy. I'm not really sure what the rest of them are, if I'm honest. I've got to be completely honest. I've not really played around with them. I'm sure that you'll find it on a website or something somewhere. Right, coming towards the end again. How oh, much fuel level we got here? About 50%. So I'm going to, If this gets to 5,000 at 50%, it means it is 10,000 fuel capacity. Lift that up to our next lane. This is probably not the best vehicle to start my third person stuff on because particle effect keeps getting in the way. Oh gosh. What's going on here? Right, so if you are new to the channel as well, that squeaky sound you keep hearing is not the steering wheel. It's actually the Brody knob that I've put on the steering wheel. People want like people like the squeak, I don't know why. But when I'm editing the videos, which I don't need to do today, luckily. It just sounds like I'm standing on a mouse or something. <laughs> Bit ridiculous. So anyway, I'm playing on a live stream on Thursday. Don't quote, don't get excited guys. I don't know if it's definitely going to happen because it was meant to be definitely happening today and it didn't. So, um, it all depends whether I can get Friday's video recorded in time. If I can get Friday's video recorded in time, then I will do a live stream. It all depends on that. So I need to be off Discord tomorrow and just sit down and record, basically. 
Um, so hopefully, if I do stream tomorrow, it'll be 8 p.m. and less Banky streaming. If Banky Gaming streaming, then it'll probably be 7 p.m. so we don't overlap. Um, I think it's going to be the best solution. And I'll probably be in his chat after as well. I like go ahead over to his stream. Come on, this is going way too slow for my liking. Oh, watch that act load there. If you haven't seen part one once again, just above the speedometer, we've got the act load thing that keeps going up. That is essentially how much is going through the auger at the time. So if it gets to 100%, it will jam up. We have to get out and manually unjam it, which is new. It's annoying as hell, but <laughs> it gives us something else to think about. Ooh, let's go back a sec. I don't even know what to talk about. This is... I'm trying to cater for both the people that see this for the first time and the people that watch part one of this as well. By the way, if you haven't seen part one of this, it's probably a bit too late to do this, but click in the eye and top right corner now. Um, if I didn't put it there because I forgot, then just click the eye anyway and it'll be in there somewhere. It should be a... Uh, actually, I don't know what the thumbnail's going to be. Depends. So I reckon we've got two more after this. Yeah, one in a bit. Did I put GPS on? Yes, I did. Um, I've been watching a lot of Real Farmers as well lately, guys. I don't know if you guys do that too, if it's just me that's the weirdo, but uh, George Saunders... Jo I like to say Josh, then. Uh, George Saunders. really like his stuff, but I'm surprised he's not my favourite. I do really, really like his stuff, but my favourite is, uh, is Dino. He uploads videos of him doing real-life farming, and yeah, I think he's my favourite purely because he's the one I come across first, I think. And when I first started watching him, he didn't do commentaries, but as of late, he has been doing commentaries. So yes, I, if I remember, I'll put his channel in the description box below, but normally I'll forget. If you do head over there, be sure to write Simulate sent you. He doesn't have a clue who I am, but oh well. <laughs> really recommend his stuff. It's quite interesting. My particular favourite one of his is not actually anything to do with farming, surprisingly. He was excavating... Well, basically, he went into a woods. It started off him driving into a woods in an excavator. And by the time he left, there was a full field gate there. So he made a road, a tiny little road, and a gate that goes into the field from nothing, basically. And it's quite interesting to watch. And there's a river that's going over that as well. So, but he put a pipe in, so the water carried on going through. He could put dirt on top of it without it going all, you know, soggy or without actually stopping the water from flowing through. So that's probably my favourite one. I'm not going to tell you what my favourite George Saunders one is, because there's some people in here that may not like it, but all I'm going to say is, if you don't have a queasy stomach, make sure you type in George Saunders ratting <laughs> to be a set as well. It's quite an interesting video, that. We are actually on... No I shouldn't have done this lane. It's not 2,000 either, because 10,000, because we're over 10,000, and it's still going. So I'm not sure what the fuel level is going to be on this. We're up to 11,000 now, and we're still on 96%, so... God knows what it's going to be. <laughs> Zoom into here. And I'm going to predict... I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to predict the comments. I messed that up then. What did I do then? I think I tabbed out and stopped the combine. Oh, it's on 100, that's why. Uh, this is awkward, because we can't get the Massey Ferguson in there, so we're going to have to reverse outwards a little bit like this. Oh, cool. Now we're we'll going to jump and get the Massey Ferguson. I've actually thought about becoming a real farmer for, like, most of my life, but I'm not going to tell you guys what I do for a living, but it's hard to give up what I do for in real life for the early mornings and being covered in cow manure, basically. But it is definitely something I've been considering for like 10 years. Ever since I knew what a job was. Basically, well, not a job, but you know what I mean. Ever since leaving school, which wasn't actually 10... Was it 10 years ago? Holy smokes, it was nearly 10 years ago. I am old. <laughs> but yes, ever since I left school, I've been thinking, I could be a farmer. I really love farming. Um, I'm not sure it's that easy anymore, though. I think you need degrees and everything, which is annoying. If you know about any of that stuff, if you're an older viewer and you know about all that stuff, please let me know if you're a farmer or anything and tell me how exactly you get into it. Because 
as much as I love my real job in real life at the moment and even the YouTube stuff, unfortunately it doesn't pay the bills every week and um, it's not as reliable either. Let's go ahead. You couldn't see that because I was in the cab, but I just shut the uh, tarpaulin sheet there. Which actually shows vinyl or something, but still. So what we're going to do is take the massive Ferguson back, and I am going to go in cab because it's done that horrible bug where it actually sticks through the top of the trailer. And I cannot look at that because it ruins the immersion. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just drive in cab. Look at hiccups. Well done, sir. It's getting quite late here on the farm. It's currently 10 to 6, which in farm terms isn't actually that late, but... Um, as we all know, nighttime on farm sim isn't the best performance-wise. For some reason, it's allergic to lights. So, hopefully they fix that in farm sim 17. Speaking of which, I have said this before in my videos, but if you've not seen it, check out Pure Farming gameplay. Pure Farming 17 gameplay. Oh my gosh. I'm really... I can't tell which one I'm going to play more, if I'm honest. So we've got Pure Farming 17, which looks amazing. Of course, Farm Sim 17 is going to be good as well. We already know that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know which one I'm going to play. I know about Cattle and Crops, but I haven't seen enough gameplay or anything to make my mind up about that game just yet. I've seen Farm Expert. Possibly check out Farm Expert, although it depends what they've done. It doesn't look like they've changed that much, but then again, has Giants, that's the question. Coming we'll back up into here. Are we going to hit that? No. And let's unload this. I don't know if you're watching this auction, David, but there's actually a weird collision thing going on in this shed. I think the collision box is unsynced from the fill pile. I don't know how to fix that because I'm not very good at maps. As you can see, the trailer's sort of floating there because it's hit the beginning of the pile. We've known the piles over here. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny little bug. Unfortunately, um, David can auction... Not auction David. Rainbow Dave, sorry. I'm getting my Daves confused now because it's late. Um... He'll tell you, if there's a bug in the map, there's a chance I'll either find it or break the map altogether. Um, I think we managed to break Nagswell Farm an extortionate amount of times. So when I say break, I don't just mean, oh no, this isn't working anymore. I mean, lures will break. Lures is .lua, which is the uh, code file for farm sim. We broke a lot. If there's a bug, we'll find it. Which is actually why we had to change the bell shed out. I don't know if it's a multiplayer thing, but on Nagswell Farm there was like a... Uh, I don't know what they're actually called. There's like a shed, which you store your bales in essentially, but there's also like these feeding things. And if you stand on top of them and look downwards, you get about 3 FPS, even if you've got a 1080. If you've got a 1080, try it and you will still get 3 FPS. I don't know what caused it. It's nothing to do with Tom. I don't think Tom made the model, so do not blame Tom. It's just, I don't know why we were stood on top of it anyway, if I'm honest. Oh, we've already emptied, haven't we? Have we? Well, I'll see if there's anything left anyway. 1.7% is left in the combine. Let's get rid of that. There we go. And let's back the hair. Let's back out of it. There we go. Stop that. Cool. And back. That's the wrong gear. I keep doing that way too often. I might just start doing my, all my farms and videos in reverse, guys, if I'm honest. Right, speed limiter is on. However, speed limit is on, combine's not on. This is why I've recorded the mornings and not half past 12 at night. Yes, it is half past 12. But I don't want to leave you guys without another video because that'll be twice in a week. So that's not happening. So we're doing this video. It's hard to balance social life and YouTube sometimes, but it's got to be done. Let's freeze out the camera. It seems to have gone off center a little bit. I can't even remember what I was talking about now. Oh, yes, yeah, bugs. I'll find bugs. <laughs> if there's any map makers out there, by the way, um, I'll find your bugs. Do not worry about that. If you need some severe testing, get me on the case. There we go. I've actually got a map maker in my Discord server. Um, Nathan, I can't remember the, I can never remember the numbers, but Nathan is the creator of White Oak Farm, which was like my first ever Let's Play. And still to this day, one of my favourite ever maps for Farm Sim, purely because I think it was one of my firsts. I think that's the map that set the channel off, if I'm honest. Because not a lot of YouTubers were doing it at the time. 
So I think it was only me and I think oh, I forgot his name now. Farming man, possibly. Uh, we were the only people playing it that I found anyway at the time. I know there's a few more now. I think Rushed Me just got a Let's Play on it as well, but it's reasonably new. So this is our last lane. There's a couple bits on the end there I need to get from the dodgy headland that we did. Forgot to put the pipe in. Well done, sir. Well done indeed. Now, if we have enough time, how much long have we got left? Yes, we've got over 10 minutes left, which is good because that means we can finally give our cows water and our sheep water because we still yet to do that. I forgot to do that in the last episode when we did the uh, straw and stuff. Which I did say is unrealistic, but apparently someone correctly pointed out in my video that it was actually realistic, because in real life what you do is you mash the bale up and put it into the feeder so that you don't get sh you don't basically feed the cow string, because... <laughs> uh, good luck pulling that out of the back end of the cow, that's for sure. Nice bit of string. So this is the end, we're going to flip round and get the bit we missed. It'll be like a... Why is it going so slow? It'd be like dental floss hanging out the back of a cow, basically. So, yes. Turns out the feeder is accurate. <laughs> Come on. Why are we going so slow? Oh, I got the speed limit on. That's why. Well done, sir. Still got the speed limit on. Why is it not going off? Okay, so it's actually shift three, guys. It's flicks through your different types of... Uh, different types of cruise control here. I don't know what that is, I don't know what that is. Oh, I know what that is, okay. So that one stops when we're on 100%, that one stops when we're on 0%, that's the one that matches the combine speed. I'm looking in the bottom right corner for those of you that don't know. Um, that's speed limiter, so now we've got a top speed of 5, and that's just the normal cruise control where you set it, and it basically goes that speed. Cool. Let's, first of all, fold up this header here. Bit of third person, why not? Turn off the GPS as well, actually, we don't need that. And we'll unload to the Massey for the last time. So that is our sunflower field done, guys. This now has plans, this field. We weren't actually meant to put sunflowers in this field, but Simulate made a mistake. So now, after this, this we have plans for this field. So I'm going to cultivate it off camera and get it all set up, ready to go. Let's go ahead and fold the actual combine away. And the pipe, of course. Now, where did I put the Land Rover? Over there. Cool. So we need to put the header on top of the Land Rover. Not on top of the Land Rover, that would be awkward. On the uh, bell trailer. Bell trailer? I cannot speak today, guys. I do apologise. It's nearly one o'clock in the morning. Uh, on top of the header trailer. There we go. Get some third person action going on again so I can actually get it on properly without it falling off. Because this is uncut Thursday. So if it falls off... It falls off and you guys get to see it, and I don't look professional anymore. Okay, so there we go. That's a little bit too far forward. Like that. Exactly what I was talking about. Fantastic. <sighs> There's only one solution. <laughs> We're pulling the Land Rover forward until it falls off. You're not going to stay there, are you? No, good. This is exactly what I thought was going to happen, guys, which is why we're in third person is also why I don't think this is the correct header for this combine because it's not that great if I'm honest there's a couple of bugs with this header one it's got no collisions on the front end two it says it's 12 meters but in actual fact it's nine let's try that again shall we so this time we need to go a bit further back again that's not as straight as I'd want it let's back up get straightened out a little bit I'm not doing well today. This is why, kids, you do not record at 1 o'clock in the morning. You go to bed, and you go to school, and you get your good grades. You don't do this. <laughs> you don't play farm sim at 1 o'clock in the morning. What's that? Whatever, we're just going to do it. Start ready. That's the wrong tool. Okay, so change of plan, guys. The head is staying here because I'm about to lose my patience with it. So we're going to uh, take the Massey Ferguson back and unload this again. I'll get that off camera. I don't know what the... 
I don't know what on earth is wrong with that. If I wasn't on wheel cam right now, I would be sticking a middle finger up at that combine. But, composure, guys. That's one of the things you need to do on YouTube. <laughs> okay, let's take this last low back. I think we've had, so we've had a hunt, 211%. Not sure what that is in litres, because once again, I've still not looked to see what the actual maximum fuel level is. But what we can do after this is do the water bowser, which we don't currently own. I think it's only a couple of thousand pounds, so it shouldn't be a problem. But uh, hopefully we can get this into the shed without making a kerpuffle. I only messed up my own word then, guys. That's how tired I am. A word that I invented, and I nearly said it wrong. So, yes. That happened. Okay. Let's back this up into here. Turn! Turn, Stuart! Turn! Cool. At least we're facing the right way now. Steering wheel's too stiff. That's the problem. Okay. And um, we'll unload this. Um, we're going to leave the Massey Ferguson here. I'll get it off camera. We're going to use the Vulture, because we haven't used the Vulture this episode. And it's our new little baby. We could use the Class, but we've used Class loads of times. So yes, we're going with the Vulture. Let's go ahead and jump in. Close that up. So we need to buy a Water Bowser. I wonder if we've got any mods, actually. Misk. No, okay, we're going with the normal water bowser. Ignore that. So, misc. That's a fuel. We want the water. £7,000 for a water bowser? Jeez. You're looking at about two grand for a bigger one in real life. Well, I don't know if lizards are a good make or not. It's not obviously not a real make in real life, but I don't know what giants are trying to portray it as. I thought it was a cheapy, cheerful make, but apparently not. So let's take the lizard over there. This is not a lizard. Why am I saying lizard? Let's take the vulture over there to get the lizard. Lift that up a little bit. We're going to press O to feed, fold the forks up. Let's go this way. A bit steep there, not part there. So I haven't excavated this, guys. I haven't got around to doing it just yet because I've had a busy, busy weekend. Look down here, we're going to head and pick us up. So now what we've got to do is fill this up. And we need to take it down to the sheep first, because the sheep haven't had a any water at all. <laughs> Literally any water at all. So they're probably wasting away down there. Uh, the cows might have a tiny, tiny, tiny bit left, but still needs to be topped up, that's for sure. Okay, so here's the fill point, in case you guys didn't know. And we'll fill this up. I can't even speed this up or cut it because it's uncut Thursdays. So we just got to wait patiently until the water's done. Probably could have left the front loader here. Too late now. Cool. So that's the first load. Hopefully, there's enough in this Bowser to give all of the animals. Because that will save me a lot of time and effort. How long's left in this video? Three minutes, according to my timer. But it doesn't matter if we go over. I don't mind going over. I just don't like being under. Okay, please get around this corner without getting stuck. Please, please, please. Ooh, brakes aren't very good on the Vulture, that's for sure. Okay, now did I leave the gate open? Hopefully not. In fact, what we're going to do, whilst we actually unload the water into the uh, trough... Stop! The brakes are awful on this Vulture. Jeez. Hope they're not like that in real life. Uh, let's select the Bowser. Perfect. Get some more third person action for you guys. So yes, once we fill this up, we're going to go ahead and collect our T6. I didn't actually show you that in this episode. There we go, so that's filling up. Where's the T6? Here it is. This cultivated on hired worker. We had Billy Bob out in the field doing some cultivating. But he's finished now, so we're going to take this back and put it on the Follow Me with the Vulture. 
Have I folded it up? It'd be awkward if I haven't. Yes, I have. Cool. Ooh, this is bouncy. <laughs> am I going the right way? Yes, yes I am. I'm thinking of making another gate to this field. I haven't made my mind up just yet. Oh gosh, we need to go back over this ourselves. This is why I don't like using course play. What I'm going to do is actually leave the cultivator here. No, we could just leave the whole tractor here. Yeah, we're going to leave the whole tractor here, so that was a waste of time. Maximum capacity has been reached. So we have 57% left in the Bowser. Ooh, move sheep to give to our cows. Seeing as Billy Bob's not coming back out, we're going to close the gate behind us. Lack of so. Awesome source. Let's jump out and close the uh, gate. We don't want the sheep running away now, do we? There we go. And we'll take this up to the uh, cow field. There's two ways in. I'm not sure which way we're going to use. Pro yeah, actually, we're going to go through the back door because this is bumpy along here. I don't want to try and get the uh, Bowser around the corner. Let's reset head track. It keeps going off today. It's not been very good today, the uh, head tracking. Some people have been asking what head tracking is, so I'm going to explain for the people that don't know. I'm sure most of you do, but if I turn my head in real life to the right, in game it goes to the right, left, up, down. I can technically turn around as well, but that's got me stuck doing that. The things I do just to explain to you guys, this may just get stuck. Right, so we're going this way. That's the timer. But we're going to carry on going until we fed our cow or give our cows drink. Awesome source. Let's jump out of here. And let's go and visit our cow, shall we? We'll leave the door open. Why not? It's not like we're on the roads or anything. I don't trust you, Mr. Cow. What are you eating? Oil? You're eating oil. Are you that thirsty? Go ahead and close that. We'll leave the door open once again. Let a bit of air into here. Where's the Bowser? Is that... Excuse me, it's the cow. Is this the water one? Or is this grass? This looks... Oh, there's water in it already. So hopefully... We have enough here with us. Okay, so it's unloading there. Uh, we don't have enough to give it maximum, but that should do us for the next couple of days, at least. So we won't go bother anymore. So that'll do it. So guys, welcome. I want to say welcome for. That was part two of Uncut Thursdays. Once again, do not get into the habit of this. This was just a one-off to uh, say sorry for it being so boring and such a mess in the part one. So if you did enjoy, please hit that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Let me know what you think in the comment section about Uncut Thursday still. I'm an open book. You can tell me if you don't like it. Um, let's go ahead and close this gate real quick. So yes, if you did enjoy, once again, click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to see more. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Let's take this bad boy back. We now own a water bowser, and I do not know where to store it.